Hey guys, welcome to another video. Right now, COVID is running rampant. It's the BA5 variant, the subvariant of Omicron, that is the most dominant strain right now. This is because BA5 has three key mutations in its spike protein that makes it better at infecting our cells, but also better at evading our immune system. Remember when Omicron was the most contagious, the most transmissible variant of COVID? Well, that's now a BA5. And oh yeah, it also has some properties of Delta. Specifically, it has a higher propensity to get down inside your lungs. And that's why people are now calling this the real Delta Cron. So just when you think that COVID is over and all is well because you're already vaccinated or you've already had previous COVID infection or both, well, guess what? It only took two months for BA5 to become the dominant strain, and it seems like everyone is getting sick right now. Chances are you know someone who's been sick with BA4 or BA5 in the last month or two. More and more people are diagnosing themselves at home with those rapid antigen tests, which means a higher percentage of cases are not being reported. So it's getting harder and harder to track these cases and to know the actual number of cases. Right now, there are 110,000 new cases of COVID per day. But of course, we know that the actual true burden of disease is way higher than that. It's estimated that for every reported case of COVID, there's eight to 10 cases that go unreported. So that would put us at an estimated 1 million new cases of COVID every day. BA4 and BA5, they don't really care about your previous vaccinations and your previous infections because they're so good at escaping those antibodies. I got COVID for the first time, it was about six weeks ago. I went to a concert and then I developed symptoms about two to three days after that. I had fatigue, fever, runny nose, congestion, a cough, and oddly enough, a very nasty sore throat. Most of the symptoms were gone after four days, but it took a solid two weeks for me to get over the cough and the fatigue. But even then, I was still coughing up a little crap after that. My lungs just trying to clear out that phlegm. Thankfully, I was never short of breath. I never required any medications, but this was not a fun experience. And this was a mild infection. Had it been moderate or severe, that would mean I would have had to go into the hospital. So here you have someone who is triple vaxxed, otherwise young and very healthy. I eat healthy, I eat clean food, I don't eat any processed food, I exercise, I get good sleep. Why am I getting so sick? Why was I sick for two weeks from this virus? I thought with Omicron or the subvariants of Omicron, that someone being young and healthy, especially vaccinated, that if they're gonna get COVID, that would be nothing more than a little bit of a cold for two or three days. But here's the thing. I personally know a lot of people who've come down with this new BA5 variant who've had very similar experiences as to mine, including this nasty sore throat, which really wasn't a thing with previous variants. Definitely one of the worst sore throats I've ever had. Well, there's really two main reasons. One, it's because of me, and two, because of the new BA5 variant. I've received all three of my shots, but the last time I got a shot was eight months ago. And we know that the vaccine immunity is pretty much gone after five months. And we know that with these new BA4, BA5 variants, they're better at escaping the immune system. They're better at evading those antibodies, whether those antibodies came from the vaccine or from previous COVID infection. Even if you've had Omicron, you can still get sick from BA4 and BA5. Although it's still too early to know just how sick people can get from BA4 and BA5. But what we do know right now is that the percentage of patients who require the ICU has gone up 20% over the last two weeks. Is it because there's more infections? Is it because BA4 and BA5 are more severe? Or is it some kind of combination of the two? It's too early to know. But the bottom line is that BA4 or BA5, it doesn't really care about your previous immunity from previous COVID infection or from vaccination for that matter, especially if the vaccine was given to you more than five months ago. The vaccines are great at protecting against severe COVID, but with mild COVID, not so much. For example, take a look at this. For adults age 18 to 64, the effectiveness of a booster against COVID hospitalization peaks around 80%, but then it drops about 50% about four months after the third shot. Now for adults over the age of 65, boosters are initially about 85% effective at preventing hospitalizations, but drops to around 75% after four months. What about protection against dying from COVID? Well, that drops to about 50% about six months after the second dose in adults who are age 50 and older. The boosters, those initially restore that protection to greater than 90%, but then it drops back down again into the 80s after about 10 weeks. The more recent the booster shot, the more likely you are to have a milder infection. 
But that doesn't explain the entire story because it doesn't account for BA5's ability to escape antibodies independent of the timing of when those antibodies were made. The irony is that I actually wanted to get a fourth shot, but I wasn't eligible to because I wasn't over the age of 50 or I didn't have a weakened immune system. So I knew that my immunity was waning because it's been eight months since I had my last shot, but I couldn't get another booster. And maybe you're in a similar situation where you're concerned that your immunity may have faded away especially if it's been more than a few months since your last shot. And after all, adults under the age of 50 have the highest rates of COVID infection compared to other age groups. So if you're under 50, when can you get the fourth shot, the second booster? And will there be a booster specifically for BA4, BA5, and subvariants that emerge from those? Right now, the CDC is looking at that data and they're considering lowering the age to be eligible for that fourth shot, but only time will tell when that's gonna happen. To the second part of that question, the FDA is asking Pfizer and Moderna to come up with a bivalent vaccine, meaning a vaccine that targets both the original strain of coronavirus, but also the new BA4, BA5 strains. But these new bivalent vaccines will not be available at least four months from now. So you're looking at the earliest time frame, more likely November, somewhere around there. And then you may be wondering, should I skip on getting the fourth shot now and just wait until then? Because I don't wanna preclude myself from getting that new bivalent vaccine. You won't be precluded from getting that new bivalent vaccine. Another common question, I've just had COVID, should I still get the booster shot? The general recommendation is that if you've had COVID, as long as you've recovered from the acute illness and you're feeling back to your normal self, then you should get the booster shot, assuming you're actually eligible to get the booster shot. The reason for this general recommendation is that antibody levels will be higher if you had the booster in addition to previous COVID as opposed to not getting that booster after the COVID. The problem I have with that recommendation is this. Some people fall into this gap period or window period where their immunity wanes. That was exactly the situation that I was in. I wasn't eligible for the next shot and it's been eight months since my previous booster. So therefore my immunity had waned. And even though my infection was considered mild, it was still two weeks of, I don't wanna say misery, but it wasn't fun. So if you get a COVID infection and we know that you develop immunity as a result of that COVID infection, whether that be for two months, three months, four months, five months, whatever it is, why not stick with that immunity that you have, even though it might not be as good as with a booster on top of that, at least you have some immunity there. Then if you do happen to fall into this window gap period where you're not eligible for the next booster shot, you bought yourself some more time. That way you're covered for a longer period of time. That's my rationale. In my situation, it doesn't matter anyway because I'm still not eligible for a fourth shot. But since I've had BA5, I definitely have immunity now. How long it lasts? Probably four or five months, we'll see. The next one that's coming, it looks like it's gonna be BA 2.75. Some of those mutations in BA 2.75, they're in a very important location for where antibodies bind to stop the virus. So we'll see what happens with that one and I'll see you in the next video.